this question what we are talking about today no mind this question was actually asked to sri ramakrishna by master mahasha m we don't think about it that way because the gospel of ramakrishna is written in such a simple language but the tremendous depth in that i'll tell you what what m asked the very first question that m asked in the, in his second visit the first visit there was no chance of deep discussion the first real discussion that m had with sri ramakrishna and the very first question he asked which shows the caliber of the mind our questions show the caliber of our own minds i heard about a university where the examinations are not that the questions are asked and you have to answer the questions rather you are asked to formulate the best possible question you can and you are graded on the toughest questions that you can formulate and the students say it's actually much harder to formulate a difficult problem than to solve a problem so m he asked the question of he asks two questions and i think they are the fundamental questions of spiritual life the first question is what we are dealing with today no mind you know what he asks sri ram krishna he says in bengali ishare mon ki kore hai how can i fix my mind on god why is that simple question but why is that question so deep because if he asks how can i attain liberation how can i find god sri ramakrishna is going to tell him think about god all the time now that's easier said than done the real question is how do i think about god all the time how do i fix my mind on god he'll say love god sri ramakrishna uh, often was said vakulata holei hobe if you have intense desire for god if intense longing for god you will realize god you will become enlightened but then the question really is how do i get intense longing for god that's the question so m is so intelligent sensitive he asks that question first not how i will realize god how can i fix my mind on god he asked that question that's the first question sri ramakrishna's answer three sentences he covers the the entire range of spiritual practice simple sentences he says sing the glories of god take the names of god ishwar e naam gun gan korbe bhakti yoga the path of bhakti in one sentence then he says dhyan korbe mone bone kone meditate meditate how where meditate in your mind meditate in a corner meditate in the forest why which he means in a secluded location you can't get a far you can get central park here of course but not very good for meditation i tried it it's actually easier to meditate in this hall here than in central park there's something about the tanmatra the the underlying vibration there though it's very beautiful so meditate in the forest meditate in or a secluded place or ashram wherever in the mountains and meditate in the mind uh, meditate in a corner of your house wherever you are basically raja yoga the path of meditation he indicated it and the third one is what interests us, us what would make gorapa the perk, perk up his ears he says always do viveka the philosophical spiritual discrimination viveka we'll talk about this later on always do viveka between the eternal and the non eternal and what you find to be non eternal temporary and transient have vairagya for it dispassion for it follow the eternal give up the non eternal so three sentences bhakti yoga raja yoga gyana yoga you see the essence this the he has indicated and in such simple language in the most ordinary bengali you think that um, it's oh i i knew that <laughs> it is nothing nothing very great about it but he has given you you just hold on to that you will realize god that's just enough exactly what m asked that is the answer he has given